day, mate. This is rap news on your radio waves. Reporting today on that distant Australian state. Where on the 26th of January they annually celebrate a date that they denominate Australia Day. But much as in the US of A with Columbus Day or Canada Day in Canada A, each year a debate takes place as to the way societies built on colonial occupation should celebrate the genesis of their cherished nation. So today we have an Australian correspondent from Channel 9. Can you hear me, Ken Oathcan? Ken Oathcan, here you go. I'm reporting from Australia, eh? Coming live at that. Provide effects on this amazing day. When we take a national holiday off from Hard Yakka and celebrate with Barbies, Beer and Char Tucker, Mates, Eskies, Sheilas, The Torpedo, Vegemite Miners, Tony Abbott, Short Speedos. But what exactly are you celebrating? I'll tell you, Robbo. But first, before we begin, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional robbers of this land. Do you like what we've done with the place? Ain't it grand? Yeah, it all started here in 1788 after Captain Cook discovered this pristine real estate. We were stray aliens looking for a place to settle it. We landed in Sydney with the first fleet of 11 ships. It was no one's land, unpopulated, terminalist. So we built fences, bridges, opera houses and deforested. Made heaps of land for growing lambs and in time since that land was ours we started to mine, mine, mine. And now, regardless of footy team, creed or ethnic persuasion, we celebrate this day as one nation. Mm. It seems strange that in order to be a proud Australian, you celebrate a British military occupation. Hey, Moving on, Aboriginal people. Ah, you mean blackfellas. Uh, are they included in this day? Get off, yeah. Then tell us, why they name it Invasion Day and Survival Day? Did it mark the start of war, even genocide, as some say? Nah, we had a peaceful settlement and intervention. Brought those poor natives blankets, medicines, raised them from the Stone Age, gave them income management, and even tried to smooth their pillows to content them. That's the Australian way. So we now enjoy our conquest and worship this altar of flaming gas with clear consciences. We brought the crown and TV to this land camp. And on its Tim Tim. What more could you want? Well, how about changing Australia Day to a less offensive day? Such as? Any other day would be better to celebrate. How about the date Australia was federated? January 1st, made on that date, we already get wasted. How about May 27 then? The day when back in 67 Australians voted in a great referendum in which 90% of you said, Fair dinkum. Aboriginals are humans too. Let's make them citizens. Listen, Robbo. Australia Day is here to stay. Christ's sakes, mate, we already had Sorry Day. And who are you anyway? Some poppy poop to try to judge me? If you don't like it here, then get the fuck out of me country. Australia. Australia. Australia Day. Yeah, cunts. Coming again to celebrate invasion. Australia Day. Yeah, cunts. Denial is the only way. Cunt refugees, you're fucking screwed. Reporting for Channel Mine from the Lucky Can Tree. Thank you, Ken. You've helped us all to see why this date and no other has got to be the national holiday, Australia Day. It reflects an honest memory of the first day of systematic robbery and denial of the native sovereignty on which was built this great settler colony. To change the day without acknowledging this, well, wouldn't that simply be massive hypocrisy? Lest we forget, we often say of our brave heroes, but if we take pride in our ancestors' achievements, shouldn't we also recognize their malfeasant ways? Till then I bid you all happy amnesia day. <laughs>